going back to our everyday living down here with a follow-up video of putting all of this through so let's just get to get over there i'm not going to scan with my phone today i'll get some dockets off and show you what we mean by how much we put through
it. Time to put it through. Got a little bit more than what I expected. Anyway, let's see what we're going to get for the day. Well, for yesterday, you know what I'm saying. This being a follow up. It was a bit noisy earlier, I couldn't talk much. Um, pull the glass going through and that sort of thing. Cans are a bit quieter, not as noisy. I have got a few extra bottles here somewhere. I don't know which trolley they're in. Um, I think there's only about three in the glass. That I found extras. So we'll put that through as well. Oh, we're on the last one here. Hopefully we fit it. The truck can't be too far away, I've seen it go past. I'll get in the hole. Yeah, you got a long way to go. <laughs> I thought I'd check for you because this one's just about full. I've only just started. Sunny day. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. They're expecting another inch. Yeah. Yeah. Ah oh, well, don't have to water the lawn. Just got to mow it. <laughs> That's the worst of it, isn't it? That one won't go through. Yeah. The, the, the heat. Yes. Call it the summer grass.
she's finished. That'll wake her up. <laughs> enough to wake anything up, that. Yeah, it's pretty loud, isn't it? Sorry, tell me about it. Small one first. You all working, bro? Just pop them straight in.
thinking you in the pocket it goes. Start again. You're going to be full, are you? Well, I reckon it's full. Them up, love. They were, they were mine. That's all. Um, chuck them in here. Because I'll still reach out for mouth. No, it won't. I oh, know. No, I don't have to do one of that. I'll take that home and unpack Yeah, my sticks the sticking side and pop it up. Is it stupid they won't go in the base quite later? That doesn't look the same thing. Take it up the first day though, I don't. I'd be able to cut the top of the side with them, ain't there? I've been doing it for a fair while. Yeah, that's it. That's totally I've been doing it with my grandkids for a fair while too. Three or four years I've been doing this for. Oh no, I started way before that.
take your extras. Go and tell you how much we got. We've got our, all of our dockets. I'm on the dash. That's a big docket. That's a $50 one, that one. And um, go and cash it in. Put these in the back. Well, that wasn't too bad at all. $91.10. 900 and... What would that be? 911 units? Yeah. 911 units. I had to think there. Bit of a brain fuzz, like a waste kit. You know, like you've seen in the video from yesterday, I just about put a can in a bin where <laughs> I thought, yep, okay, it goes there. But I, I looked around and I had a can in my hand. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, yeah, that's not too bad. $91.10. So you'll probably see that with the pictures in the, in the corner. Um, I'll, that's basically what we've got so i thought i'd do it as a docket this time round, so you can see what the dockets look like they've got a big long barcode like this one here this is the 50 dollar one it's got a big long barcode on it down the bottom um also a short one across the top there so that's how how they do it if you're not scanning it through to your phone um, like through an app or anything like that. Uh, I'd prefer it through the app because I have been Like before I started doing it onto my phone I was actually getting the dockets and I had a $50 one like that one I just showed you and it wouldn't scan so At that time I thought no, there's something better and yet they didn't have the app out at that time so I thought well I've got to continue with the, the dockets and two weeks later they came out with the app for scanning it to a phone and that sort of thing. I thought I'll give it a try and I've been doing it ever since. So that's why I scan it to my phone a lot of the times. So anyway, um, on the home front, uh, I've got a washing machine I'm testing just over here. Um, just picked up a fridge today, seeing if it works. If it doesn't work, well, we just scrap it out anyway, pull the, pull the alloy cores out because the, the freezers are usually got an alloy, alloy core now not a copper core that's the way they make them uh, the only copper that's actually in it is in the motor and some of your copper piping down going to the motor so you don't get much uh, trying to strip it out of the actual fridge itself it's a real mess so you just chop it off and whatever you can do and try and not to uh, vent the gas as much as you possibly can so anyway, um, what else have I got to report? Oh, I've got a washing machine just sitting over here. I'll take this over and I'll show you what I mean. Um, I'm actually in the means of repairing this one. Got to put a new bearing in it. The bearing in it sort of rusted up and yeah, she's not, not real good. So I'm putting a new bearing and new seal in it and hopefully it's the bearing, new seals there, the bearings there. Um, put it all back together and it should be all right to go. I think that's a... I don't know what brand that one is. Here, on the front door, tell me. It's, uh, don't know, it's a mystery one. Ha 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 Oh, Fisher and Paykel. Fisher and Paykel. So, yeah, it's, it's there. Right on there. Um, so yeah, I, I, this is how I do it. I strip them right down as much as I possibly can, find the problems and uh, put them back together. If I can put them back together, but I found that there was a problem with the bearing. I thought, oh, I'll just fix it up. So uh, I've got to add that in the cost of me repairs, plus me labor, all that sort of thing. This one here's got a water problem. Uh, this one here, picked it up a couple of days ago. I've gone through uh, the 40 angry, the 60 angry, uh, the quick, oh you just can't see that, the quick and the heavy, now I'm on the cold and I've had no problems with it so far, there's no leaks, not a problem, no hairpins in the, in the, um, bottom filter, so, yeah, I think it may have a leak on the water inlet, um, I came here this afternoon and it had a little bit of water that they like if the towels in there that I've got in there weren't 
actually spun out so yet to find out I'm doing a lot of cycling and that sort of thing a lot of testing and yeah so um, and, and the chairs that I picked up yesterday put them out over here uh, gonna pressure wash them and that sort of thing so got the gurney ready so yeah that's, that's the way it is here um, yeah so what we get 90 geez I even forgot $91.10 so that's not too bad so I've got a little bit to do here. Um, for anyone that's actually interested in uh, what I mean by pressing it up, that's the new subscriber and that sort of thing, um, this is what I've been doing with the um, pressing up the aluminium. I actually put it in the, this is a shop press that I purchased. I made this myself. Um, that's just a block of steel. I started doing it with that and it squashed it. It's a 12 ton shop press. Um, and I press the aluminium up into that. That's what I do with all the alpha oil trays, um, the, the bottle tops, and that sort of thing. Wine, wine necks, and it actually comes out like this. I'll take us around the back here, out, out here, uh, on what it actually looks like. And when it comes down to the block itself, this is what it looks like. Oh, we've had a mouse in here or something. That wasn't up like that. See, that's what they look like. They, I, I tie them up with um, cable ties, zip ties, that sort of thing. That's how it comes out. There's four blocks there. This is the latest block that I pressed up. I reckon that one there is probably about six and a half kilos. Um, also, our aerosol cans that are aluminium. I get two top, tops off them, take the stem out, and it goes completely aluminium. So, yeah. Bit of an update on um what's going on around the place got a few extra things in the background in the shed itself still got a pile of motors there that i've got to do never mind <laughs> always something to do around here so if you've come this far in the video everyone um don't forget to tap that like button and if you consider subscribing don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you'll get notified when there's a new video coming out so on that note everyone, I think I've rambled on enough, um, I can't think of anything else that I need to update everyone on, on what we've been doing around here, so I will see you in the next video everyone, see yous!